In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add videos to your Bisplay pages. To illustrate that, I start with a blank page, click Edit, and what I can do is I can select videos from either YouTube or Vimeo. You cannot, like images, um, upload your own videos to Bisplay. If you'd like to show your own videos, you need to upload them to either YouTube or Vimeo, and that's free on at least YouTube, as far as I know. But let's start with YouTube. Uh, what I need for a YouTube video to play is the web address of the video. And let's see, I have one here. This is a video that I'd like to add, and what I can do is I can select the address here in the top, right-click, select copy, paste it here, and if I press, press refresh, you'll see that it starts playing. In this case, it plays in normal quality, but if I make it bigger, you'll see that it will detect that it's larger and they can use HD quality. So we'll adapt accordingly. Another thing I can do is I can uh, tell it to start playing from a certain point in the video. Let's say from 31 seconds, go back. And let's add a playlist and see what that looks like. There you go, it starts playing from this point in the video. Now there's a third option for the video which allows you to tell um, what the video should do when it's uh, being displayed for the, the second and third and fourth and so forth times. So say you have a video page um, and you have other uh, display pages uh, in that sequence and then it cycles around and it starts uh, with a video page again. You can tell it to either continue playing the video where it left off or start uh, playing from the beginning again. So if I select from the beginning, for example, go back and add another page to alternate with. Let's set this to uh, four and three seconds. Here we go. And we should see that it starts here. And then another page comes and then when the video starts playing again, it will start from the beginning again. See? So that's YouTube. Vimeo, it's actually not that different. Well, to be honest, it's the exact same, so all you need is the web address of the video. So you go to Vimeo, select the address, copy, paste it in here, refresh, and then there you go. It starts playing. You can make this bigger as well. Save, go back. And let's add this to the playlist. Play this duration four. Here we go. I see that sometimes when it starts, it shows you that pause symbol, but that's just the first time when it's buffering the video. The next time it displays, it won't show that again. And note that the Vimeo will continue playing where it left off. So when we see the Vimeo video now again, it will, there you go, continue where it left off. Well, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, I'd say go ahead, experiment with it, give it a try. If you have any questions, let us know via the website or via email. Thank you very much and good luck with it.